An Austin swimmer says she's following her dreams. She plans to be at the Olympic Games in Tokyo a year from now. We told you months ago she was banned from competitively swimming after a failed drug test. She says the vitamins, vitamins she was taking were tainted. But as KXAN's Gary Cooper reports, she is not letting that experience stand in her way. This is the face of someone looking for redemption. Madison Cox, a professional record-breaking swimmer, had her hard work and dreams taken away last year when she got a phone call saying she had failed a drug test. I've always lived my life an honest, clean way, and I exemplify that in sport as well. This is not my phone call. She could not talk about the ban. And I could tell no one. It had to be super inner circle. It was my parents, my mom, dad, and my coach. That's it. The ban cost her a chance to compete in the Nationals swim meet last year. Stay, mister. Since then, she's sued the maker of the supplements, graduated, and kept on swimming. She's had to keep busy. Looking too far into it or letting yourself kind of drown in that, the sorrows and the sadness that, that surround that adversity is only going to hurt you. But next week, Madison Cox is off to nationals. So now I'm, I'm kind of tuning up and getting ready to, to hopefully, you know, show them that I should be on the world's team and show them what I could have done last summer. Depending on how that goes, it could lead to another trip to Omaha. And if she qualifies there, she'll make it to the team. And if she qualifies there, she'll make it to Team USA and on to the Olympics in Tokyo. So next year is the big show. That's when, you know, that's, when, that's what, what really matters. She says the unplanned time off has been a bit of a blessing because she's had more time to train. What I know how to do is work hard. And, and that's what swimming pays off really well at, is just hard work. And with any luck, it'll pay off in Tokyo. In Austin, Gary Cooper, KXAN News. Cox was a two-time finalist at the U.S. Olympic Trials in 2016.